All right, in this video, none of our logic or anything like that is going to change. We're simply just gonna break our current uh, systems into their own files and so forth to keep things organized. So all the camera logic, it's gonna go into its own camera file, all of the player logic into its own player file, and then maybe like the, uh, the light and the floor, we'll put that into like a world file or something like that. So, uh, all right, so to begin, let's start with the, let's start with the player and to do this, let's first create a new player RS file. And then I'm going to grab this code, copy it, and then I'm just gonna comment it out for now. Uh, if you don't know how to comment out a large block of code, just highlight it all and then do control uh, forward slash, uh, that, at least on Windows. I'm not really sure what it is on Mac. It's probably very similar. Um, and then you'll see this is airing out because it doesn't exist in here anymore. So let's just get rid of that for now. Uh, then in here, let's import bevy prelude all, and then we're gonna create our own plugin. So it's, it's very easy if you haven't done it before. Um, so don't think that it's gonna be difficult or anything like that. Uh, but to do that, all we need to do is create a struct first called player plugin and then we're going to implement plugin for player plugin and then it needs a build function here and you'll see it's very similar to what the main function already does uh, but it's just moved into its own separate file here all right now let's go ahead and paste in that system that we copied from the main file, the player, the spawn player system. And then we're going to add it to this build function here. So add systems. This is a startup system and then spawn player. And that's it. That's, that's all a plugin is right there. So now to use this plugin, we need to import it into this main system or this main file here. So mod player and then use player, player plugin. And we're going to add it alongside of the default plugins here. So wrap the default plugins in a uh, tuple here and then write put player plugin. Now, before we move on and try the other ones, let's test them one by one as we're going so we don't go too far down a rabbit hole with uh, incorrect code. So I'm gonna run it here. It should look just like what we had at the end of the last tutorial. Yep, looks good. So let's move on to the next system. And now that we know this is working perfectly, we can go ahead and just get rid of that from this main function or the main file here. All right, let's take the, let's take the camera next. So let's copy it. I'm going to comment it out, then let's get rid of that non-existent system here. And then let's create a new file called camera.rs. And very similar to the player uh, plugin, um, we can actually copy this, that actually make it pretty easy. Let's go ahead and copy that, paste it in here. But instead of calling this player plugin, you guessed it, we're calling it camera plugin. And we can call this spawn camera. And then down below, just go ahead and, and paste in what you copied earlier. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. And if you didn't know how I did that, by the way, um, if you want to look at your history of uh, your clipboard history, so things that you've copied up to maybe like 20 items, if you hit Windows key V, you can go through and look at all the things that you've copied. So there's quite a few options. I definitely use that on a daily basis. Um, all right, back over to the, since we got this, this camera plugin created, let's go over to the main system or main file here and go ahead and add the camera plugin. But I need to first import it. All right, uh, again, let's go ahead and do a proof of life test. 
looks good. So we can get rid of that now. And then we're going to do it one more time with the spawn floor and spawn light systems both together here. So I can actually comment that out as well. And I'm going to call this uh, world.rs. And go ahead and I'm going to copy those in first this time. Uh, and then we can go over to the player plug in here and, and copy this straight from here because it's going to be very similar. Work smarter, not harder. And this time we're going to add a tuple with two systems in here. So spawn light and spawn floor. And we also need to rename this to, excuse me, world plugin. All right, we got that situated. So let's import this plugin into the main file and main system here. Okay, so now we got all three of our custom plugins put into the, the main system. Let's run it one last time to make sure we're still running everything correctly. And we are, it looks exactly how we left it on the first tutorial, so that's just what we want. Now we can go ahead and get rid of this commented out code from the main file here. And now your main file looks nice and clean uh, and you have your code broken down. So if you need to add something, uh, some player functionality, we'll just add it right here in the player file. If we need to add something for the camera functionality, just add it to the camera file. So this makes it a lot better uh, as you go forward and as your projects get more complex, I highly recommend breaking your code down. This is a very simple way to break it down too. There's more complex ways to do this that make more sense as your project grows, but we're not covering that in this video. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in tutorial three.